What's up YouTube? Zero here. Welcome to the place where gamers, witches, wizards, and superheroes unite. Today, I'm going to be taking on the Hawthorne City Pokemon Gym in Pokemon Shining Pearl. Now, the gym leader is Fantina, and she's the alluring, soulful dancer. Now, in this gym, we are going to be taking on ghost-type Pokemon, and ghosts are weak to more ghosts and dark. Well, currently, I don't have a dark-type Pokemon in my arsenal, but I do have a ghost type Pokemon. What is three plus five plus seven? Answer in the comments section. Two, 16, or 15. I'm thinking it's 15. So I'm gonna go to door number three. Correct, congratulations. So if you get it wrong, you're probably gonna have to face a trainer. If you get it right, you're not going to have to face a trainer. Question, what is 12 plus 28? 30 to the left. 40 is straight and 50 is to the right. I am under the impression that it's 40, so I'm just going to go straight ahead. And it is correct. Time to move on to the next round. And the next round is... What is 3 times 13 39 is to the left 93 is straight ahead and 33 is to the right so let me know in the comments section if you are getting these i believe 13 times 3 is 39 let's go to the left and got that correct now on to the next round wonder how many more math thank god i paid attention in math class hopefully y'all did too if not you can actually just continue following along with my question what was the first room's answer i'm pretty sure it was 15 and it looks like we are on the gym leader we were able to answer all of those math questions as well as remembering our answer to the first room she said finally she is so happy to see us of course i'm happy to see her as well personally i would be a ghost gym leader as well if i was a gym leader but unfortunately i'm not so my pokemon are all different types because i'm not a gym leader but eventually maybe later in the game as soon as i reach the end game i may come up with a team of ghost type pokemon so be on the lookout for that i'll actually come out with teams for every different type for those of you who are interested but again i'm going with my gengar and i'm going to be utilizing hex hopefully my gengar listens to me it looks like he is which is awesome of course when you get a gengar in a trade you never know if the gengar is going to listen to you or not but down goes Driftblim. And on to the second Pokemon, Bronzong gains a level, which is, of course, amazing. And now we have another Gengar. Now it's Gengar on Gengar Crime. Gengar on Gengar Pokemon Battle. Although, Fatim's Gengar is only 34, mine is 40. And I actually can't read the na name because I can't read Korean. But... Gengar takes down Gengar. It is super effective. So if you do have a Gengar or Haunter, I would recommend utilizing them in this battle. If you don't, you can also obtain a Mistrevis, which is also a fantastic ghost-type Pokemon. So now I have a Miss Magius to take on, and I am, of course, going to keep utilizing my Gengar. Fantima is shaking in her ghostly boots. I'm going to continue utilizing Hex because Hex is a fantastic ghost type boot. And there you have it. My Gengar level 40 takes down the Miss Magius at level 36. And that gym was quick, fast, and in a hurry. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more Pokemon content. I do a bunch of other RPGs, so feel free to check those out as well. And until next time, peace.